Hey everyone, I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we will learn about ASP.NET Core tutorial. If you are interested in building web application and wondering which framework to use, then don't worry, you are in the right place. This video will help you explain about ASP.NET Core and guide you through it. Let us look what's in it for you in this session. We shall begin with understanding what is ASP.NET Core and then see why to use ASP.NET Core. Followed by which we will look at some of the features of ASP.NET Core. Then we will understand different layers of architecture present in ASP.NET Core. Proceeding further, we will see some of the key benefits of ASP.NET Core over .NET Framework. Then we will look at the industry trends of ASP.NET Core. Finally, we have a demo wherein we will create and run an ASP.NET Core. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Watch the video till the end so that you don't miss on the demo. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. What is ASP.NET Core? ASP.NET Core is an open source, cross-platform, high-performance framework for developing modern, cloud-enabled internet-connected apps. ASP.NET Core is the open source version of ASP.NET that runs on Mac OS, Linux and Windows. ASP.NET Core was first released in 2016 and is a redesign of earlier Windows only versions of ASP.NET. Why use ASP.NET Core? ASP.NET is used by millions of developers to construct web applications. ASP.NET Core is a redesigned version of ASP.NET that includes architectural improvements to create a more modular framework. With ASP.NET Core, we can build web apps and services, IoT apps and mobile backends. We can use development tools on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Using ASP.NET Core, we can deploy to the cloud or on-premises. We can run on .NET Core. Now let us look at the features of ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core provides a single framework for developing web UI and web APIs. ASP.NET Core is designed for testing. It provides razor pages that make it easier and more productive to code page focus situations. Blazor allows use of c -sharp alongside JavaScript in the browser. Share server-side and client-side application logic built in .NET. ASP.NET Core has the capability to design and run applications on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. It is community-driven and open source. It provides modern client-side frameworks and development methods that are integrated. ASP.NET is a configuration system that is cloud-ready and environment-based. It gives high-performance, lightweight, modular HTTP request pipeline and provides built-in dependency injection. ASP.NET Core has the capability to host on the following platforms, that is, Kestrel, IIS, HTTP, Nginx, and Apache Docker. Now let us look at the architecture of ASP.NET. The concept of ASP.NET fundamental architecture is similar to N-layer architecture that defines the layer as the core component of the platform, releasing the developer the burden of redefining it in order to make solution more flexible and reusable. The main business logic and UI logic in ASP.NET Core are encapsulated in the web app layer, while the database access layer, CAT services and web API services are encapsulated in the infrastructure layer. Common utilities, objects, interfaces and reusable business services 
are encapsulated as microservices in the application core project. The data sources could be SQL database. And the third party services include GitHub API, SendGrid API and others. Dotted arrow shows the compile time dependency and the regular arrow indicates the runtime dependency. Application Core Project The business model which contains entities, services and interfaces is stored in the application core. These interfaces contains abstractions for operations done by infrastructure such as database access, file system access and network calls and so on. Application core types include entities, interfaces, services and DTOs. Infrastructure project The infrastructure project includes data access implementations such as entity framework, EF core migration objects and data access implementation classes. The infrastructure project contains implementation of services that must interact with the infrastructure concerns. These services implement interfaces defined in the application core and so infrastructure should have a reference to the application core project. Infrastructure types include EF core types, data access implementation types and infrastructure specific services. Benefits of ASP.NET Core over ASP.NET Framework Benefits of .NET Core over .NET Framework include it provides cross-platform. It runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. ASP.NET Core has improved performance. It provides side-by-side -side versioning. It provides new APIs, and it is open source. Now let us look at the industry trends of ASP.NET Core. This picture depicts the industry trends of ASP.NET and .NET Framework. ASP.NET Core is the most used framework and it is growing in popularity as the majority of developers use it on a regular basis. It is expected that ASP.NET will overtake .NET Framework in popularity in coming years. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. So now let us look at the demo. So, we'll first look at the prerequisites. First, we need to install the required software and set up the system for ASP.NET Core development. First, we need an editor, maybe Visual Studio, Sublime, Autumn or any other. But I would recommend to go with Visual Studio 2019. Next, we need .NET Core SDK Software Development Kit. So, let's go to the browser and install this. So go to the visualstudio.microsoft.com and go to downloads. From here you can download Visual Studio 2019, the community edition. This is free, the community edition. Then to download .NET SDK, go to .NET Microsoft.com. From here you can download .NET Core. From here you can download .NET Core 3.1. So click on this and get this downloaded. Once you have downloaded these files, open Visual Studio Core, open Visual Studio 2019. So open Visual Studio 2019, when you open it for the first time, in the workloads under the toolset section, select .NET Core cross-platform. On the left hand side, it shows the recent project that you have worked on. And at the right hand side, we can create a new project. We can open a folder, open a project or a solution and clone a repository. So we'll click on create new project. So these are the different project templates present in Visual Studio 2019. We have ASP.NET Core Web App. This is used for creating core application. For example, Razor Pages content. And we have Blazor WebAssembly and then we have ASP.NET Core MT. In this template, we can create .NET Core application from the scratch. And we have ASP.NET Core Web App, Model V Controller. We'll discuss this in the upcoming videos. Similarly, we have Blazor Server App, ASP.NET Core Web API and many more. 
then scroll down and explore we have many more we have asp.net core with angular with react.js so for now we will use asp.net core empty so select this asp.net core empty and click on next and name the project so we'll name the project as demo application If you want to provide a different solution name, you can check this box and provide a different solution name. So click on next. Select the target framework. .NET Core 3.1 or 5.0. I'll select it as 5.0. And click on next. Click on create. Yep, so here we go. The demo app project is created. These are the default folders that I've generated. We have dependencies folder in which we have analyzers and frameworks. Then we have properties folder in which we have launch setting.json file. Then we have app settings.json file and we have program and startup file. So we'll run this and see. Click on run and here you can see build started. Here we can see the local host four four three one three. So it's showing hello world. So where is this hello world getting generated from? So we'll go back to Visual Studio. So go to Solution Explorer and go to startup.cs file. If you scroll down. You can see here this is where hello world is getting generated from so we'll change this change the message and enter so we'll change the message and enter thanks for watching stay tuned to simply Go. So let me run this. And here you see. So here you can see. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to see. So with that, we have reached the end of this video. Like and share it if you found it interesting. Thank you for being here. So in the upcoming videos, we'll be creating web apps and we'll be using MVC model view controller. So stay tuned to simply learn and keep learning. Thank you. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.